Well, I'm here with Joe Amaral talking about his brand new documentary. It's called Understanding Jesus, and we're going bit by bit through it. Yeah. And we're getting to something that you know, might be a little too hot for Huntley, right? <laughs> I like that. That could be a hashtag, too hot for Huntley. I don't know if it should be, <laughs> should be or not. But it's in the Bible, so. Because the Bible actually isn't that clean sometimes. I mean, it can be pretty scandalous. Yeah, it's not always as kosher as we think as it is. You know, we forget the Bible is written about real people. You know, and we spiritualize it so much. Everybody's floating around, praying and doing things. But these are real people with, with, with real problems and situations. Like and, a pregnant teen mom who wasn't married? Could you imagine? You know, my daughter's getting married this summer, and that's one thing. She's 21. Mary could have been anywhere from 13 to 15 years old. She's a virgin, so she tells everybody as far as the neighbors are concerned, and then she comes out and she's pregnant. Could you imagine? And now that child that's in her is supposed to be the Messiah, the one who's going to save everybody in that village from sin. <laughs> Does yet, not compute. No, because right? <laughs> in their minds, he's conceived in sin. And so he's going to save us from sin. We read the Bible sometimes, and again, we forget to, we forget the humanity part of it. Hmm. Yes, the Holy Spirit came on Mary, and we have this beautiful, immaculate conception, this wonderful story. But the people living in Nazareth didn't see it as being wonderful. It was scandalous. And, and the whole time, we forget about poor Joseph. Yeah, because this, you know, we, we like to beat him up, right, for the, at the beginning of the yeah. story. He doesn't quite know what to do about this, but... But this was a real moral dilemma for him. Huge. And the Bible says that Joseph was a righteous man. And what that means in, in the Jewish vernacular is that he was a man of Torah. He followed the law. So he ate kosher. He went to the synagogue every Sabbath. He read his, he read his Bible. He gave his tithes. He was a very godly man. He was a righteous man. And now he, he waits. He saves himself. And he gets this woman. He's betrothed to her. And when you're betrothed, you don't sleep together. You don't live together. You don't hang out together. And then somehow she becomes pregnant. And Joseph has to deal with this. And we as Christians kind of attack him and say, oh, come on, Joseph, where's your faith? Why don't you believe it was God who did this? Well, how would you react if that happened to you? Yeah, and, and even worse, 2,000 years ago, right? I mean, your, your documentary is called Understanding Jesus, based upon your, your best-selling book, Understanding Jesus. And, and one of the things you understand about Jesus is he lived in a community and a culture, and the neighbors didn't take too kindly to this. No, not, not at all. And, you know, we're living in a culture, or they were living in a culture, rather, that was so uh, biblically strong. The, mm. the Torah, the first five books of the Bible, gave them their, their reason for living. They, they did everything around it. And what we want to do through this documentary, through understanding Jesus, I mean, the book was good because people could read it and, you know, understand it. But this is the next level because now you can see it. So we're going to show you Nazareth, a small knit community. We'll show you Mary and Joseph together living, living life on, on a regular basis. And, you know, I think I said the other day that it's easy for us to deify Jesus, but to see him in his humanity, we struggle. And sometimes we, it's hard to understand why does Jesus talk about sheep or why does he talk about fishing? Why does he talk about this? That's what he saw every day. That's what his people around him saw every day. So he uses his surroundings Today we have cameras, we have prompters, we have PowerPoints. There's so many ways that we can get a message across. But Jesus had the best PowerPoint. He used the land and the people of Israel. And in this documentary, I hope, well, because people have a hard time. They don't know what Nazareth looked like back then. Well, we did the work for you. Watch the video and, and go back 2,000 years. See him in his native land and his words will pop to life. Yeah, you know, I've been to Israel myself many, many times where you, where you recorded this documentary, and I, I can tell you there's nothing like it. Maybe you've been there before and you want to be reminded of it, or maybe you can't go there or won't be able to go there for a long time. Well, Joe has done the work for you.